It's all about perspective, man. Ten seconds. Nah, you're just thirsty, man. <laughs> what does that hole have to do with anything? You just see holes everywhere. I'm pretty sure if you keep looking at it long enough, you'll also see the hole, dude. You're gonna pick uh, Safer and Haska? <laughs> no, it's already Lifestealer. But, um, no, I mean, isn't Lifestealer good against Invoker? Yeah. It is, right? So, why did they pick Invoker into Lifestealer? Because I'm Thompson, I pick what I want. Ah. Very often you actually see people pick Lifestealer into Invoker, and this guy is just like, nope. Nope. Imagine pressing Q and then being completely immune to Invoker and Phoenix. Yep. Yeah. Da, da, da. Hmm. Thank you, Zero Soul, for the 47 months of scam, dude. Just clapping. That's the thing I'm doing now. Do people get paid that have voice lines in the battle pass? I don't know actually. They I don't should, right? think so. I mean, they should, they but I don't think they do. I think at some point when you play a TI, you sign something where they can just uh, use anything you say during the tournament. Oh yeah, I remember. So that. they just kind of, you know, they just own everything you do. Yeah, I, I sold my soul too. Phantom Assassin. Assassin. Thoughts? It's good against Lifestealer. It's good against Rubik. That's I think that's one of the main things. It's unplayable for Rubik to play against a fat Phantom Assassin with, with Empire even. Just lift him. Just lift him as he kills you from one dagger. <laughs> The worst is though to get crit as a baron. Your ult just doesn't pop, you just boom, and you're dead. Radiance turn to yep. Ban. Yep, dead. Yeah, so Secret's last pick. Either they play for a lineup that beats the other four heroes really hard, or he picks a carry that can beat PA in late game and match up. But it's hard because you're facing a Magnus with PA. So she just gets a free battle fury. Balance. It is Dyer's band. And Alacrity. Alacrity is less uptime. Like maybe. Yeah. It's a super power spell. Yeah, but it's like. You, you won't always have it. Empower, you always have it. Alacrity is just kind of like. A, an Octarine. Depends on, no, I don't even mean uptime on Invoker casting it on her and having an off cooldown like that. I mean more like being in range. Oh yeah, I mean you only do it at the beginning, right? Before he blinks in. Yeah, exactly. So you're not gonna have it mid-fight unless he's out of other spells. And you're not but, gonna but have it seconds. if he's farming somewhere else. Nine seconds are gonna kill anyone pretty much, right? Anybody except for Lifestealer maybe and Abaddon. I actually feel like Lifestealer is gonna blow up too. If with the and empower and it depends uh, on the item advantage right like if they have even uh, items it's not gonna happen but if ps one item up then uh, maybe turn to yeah. if halbert rip yep 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 dude kek w looks so shit on dark mode what the fuck what the fuck dude kek w nice just kek w yeah but it looks nice on white mode beastmaster into mode. abaddon Thank you, Crystal Maiden, for tier one. Dude, I just got a sub from Crystal Maiden. 
That's this person. Chris made another person. Five seconds. She's an ice creature. Fuck? Yeah, she was born out of ice. Didn't you read the lore? What? Yep. Is that actual CM lore? She's born in ice? No, 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 I don't think so. <laughs> Fuck, why you lie? I think I think she's just ice sister and Lena's fire sister and they hate each other. What's the last pick here? Your game winning hero. I can't make a call. It's really hard to say. Yeah, it's actually incredibly yeah, hard. Yeah, it's really hard to say. I think it has to be something that has single target damage and team fight. OD. It's pretty shit though. Mm. They like single target damage this game. Konka. No hero to kill PA. I don't like Konka to be honest. There's on such a timer, man. No range hero to hit egg. There's a Rubik, oh, but you know oh, it's, it's not good. Void spirit middle. Wow. Void spirit middle. Konka yeah, I see. That makes more sense. I don't like the Kunga pick though. They're I don't like it either. I think they, the like, Secrets draft lacks a lot. They're really fat though. And they're, they're really strong at running at people. The but one. if it comes down to it, late game they're worse. So if they go even gold into late game, Secret loses. Doesn't EMP just fuck Kunga and the Baron though? It does. I don't know, man. I like Odie's draft much better, but secret is secret. Same. Yeah, same, right? Like, that's how it is. Like, I find that OG's draft feels much easier to play. And it's also better for late game. It's also easier to transition to late game. Because they, they can just sit back and farm up. But secret is secret, and they're just going to win anyway by just playing better. Is he going to skill no dagger? <laughs> Why? Because then the dagger burn is either. Now, even if Secret wins lanes in this game, it's not easy to finish because they don't really have good tower damage. Like, they don't have good tower damage. They don't have good Roshan clear. They also don't have overwhelmingly powerful team fights. They don't have dominating late game. So what do you do? You win lanes, choke the map, and then hope with, uh, you win with a farm advantage, I think. But a very big farm advantage. Yeah. I mean, they, they have good pickoff. So maybe they can divide the map and uh, go for skirmishes over team fights. I feel like the void speed will have to be very, very big this game. Yeah. He needs to do that. That's the thing, right? He needs to do damage and then pick a Kunga off lane. So this might have to be like some kind of desolator... Whatever, Void Spirit. Step like Blood Thorn Desolator or something. But that leaves Blood him so Thorn. squishy. The thing is, Void Spirit has an amazing lane against Invoker. Super easy. Just 30 seconds now. And he will have to make good use of that. I think it's Nisha. So. Yeah, Nisha always performs. Always delivers. Yeah. No oof on... on Puppy, yeah. <laughs> Surprising. And he also skilled shield already. That's normal, I think. Really? Is Frostmore already good? Well, I think this is the exception because you're facing a Phoenix. And you want to dispel the W. And then you get a huge... But generally you would want to go E, right? Yeah, I think normally you can go E. Or even go Q. I think Q is also possible. Just E with Oof, it's like so strong. Nobody can fight you. Phoenix can though. I think level 1 Phoenix wins that fight still. Because you lose too much really? attack speed beforehand. Are you, you don't think so? Like you just have 4 spirits, all 4 hit, you still lose the trade? I'm actually not sure about that. You definitely lose more health. But I don't know if you like lose more health than him. Hmm. 
I want to watch mid actually. I don't care so much about this matchup. I think mid is the. Yeah, yeah for uh, sure. It's really hard for Volker, man. Like, oh, he's doing well so far. Can deny so hard. He's, he's pushing his own wave into enemy tower here. Void Spirit's attack and is so broken, man. It's pretty good, yeah. And, and the damage also is really high. Back going on the for the 6. Whereas Elden Ring, you're going hollow. You on the other side, brother. I'm going hollow too. Huh? You're right. This uh, Void Spirit is destroying. Five four versus two three. Okay, two three is already pretty good for Walker to be honest. <laughs> really, you think it's that bad? Yeah, it's, Wait, really it's seven terrible. four now. Eight four, <laughs> eight five versus two three. What the fuck, dude? It's super hard to last for Walker in this matchup. You can't get that one either. Happen. Oh, he did tornado. Oh, that's a five magnet. I didn't even look at it before. What's a 5 mag? Isn't it? Yeah, it's a 5 mag. Well, 4 mag maybe, because he's playing with his offlaner. Nah, not there's always 5. No, you're right. It sucks a 4 Phoenix and 5 mag. Phoenix might be dead here. Fuck is Phoenix, spawn. No, he's fine. Mid lane is just getting pooped on. <laughs> yeah. It's, uh, it's slam dunk. That's really fucking bad. You wanted that. I think like, Thompson is already doing quite well, to be honest. I have four, much worse experience. 4 4 versus 15 7? Yeah. I've, I've had much worse experiences as both Void Spirit and Invoker. Especially if you're playing Quas Wax, you have no damage. But as the levels go higher, you're oh, we dodged the fucking tornado. Holy yeah, shit. it looked good. I don't know if it was intentional or not, but I think it was. I I mean, he probably thought it was coming, right? It's of course luck based, also, but I mean, it was decent chance that he was gonna tornado for the keep kill, and he just saw it happening yeah. before. He was in his uh, head. Yeah. Good read. Like he did it, and even half a second later, he still tornadoed. That's how much he was in his head. Head. Of course, the tornado was for the CS. But you want to be efficient. So you want to tornado and get CS and hit at the same time. Yeah. Free damage. Never, I feel like you almost never want to use mana just for creeps. On Invoker? Yeah, feels bad, right? Yeah. Spells are very expensive for Invoker, except for Cold Snap. A yeah, tornado, I mean, EMP, like, and all this like stuff. Even Puck, like you wouldn't want to orb just to last of the creep, but you want to hit the hero too. I mean, I think Puck is fine. What is Puck, like 80 mana or something level 1? It's not that bad. Yeah, that's something like that. Of course. I mean, it's fine <laughs> to do. It's more like <laughs> it's the first. you want to hit the hero. Oh, fucking Diddy. It was like, fuck that shit. <laughs> double CS, double D, nice. I hate laning against Void Spirit. I haven't played against it in a while. Oh yeah, I can lane. His attack animation is too good. His death skin is amazing too. Isn't that just new yes. hero stuff? Like every time there's a new hero, the attack animation just gets better. Yeah. So you got Dark Mar Widow, you Mars, Monkey example, King. Also. Yeah, Mars, Monkey King, Void Spirit, Dark Willow. Like all these heroes with insane attack animations. All new heroes. Yeah. I think it's just got all the heroes, they're just not as... Um, how do you call it? Polished. So they don't look so good. Yeah. Yeah, Pango I as well. They have insanely agree. good attack animations. Not Grimsook? No, Grimsook also has a good one. No, it's just not as broken, but it's still good. There's gonna be a window where you can kill on level 6 and Void Spirit. Now, Grandma has a good one too. No, uh, Snapfire. She has a very good attack animation. It's basically snipers. Yeah. Yeah. 
And then you look at some really old ones like CM or something or Lina. It, it feels like shit, dude. The old ones really feel like shit to play. Lina got a lot better after the Agi buff. Mm. Also, they are trying to rework it all. Like, Draw Rangers was buffed. Oh, just caught that kill, dude. Just barely caught it. Tidebringer, man. I bring the tide. I love you. <laughs> Another one. <laughs> so, Ian, could we maybe get some rice? Just yep. plain rice here in the basement. Tidebringer. And maybe a candle or two. It's been dark for months now and we would like some food. Thank you, Staples, for the 33, but you're not in the basement. Thank you, System, for the $50, dudes. Oilers? Any Oilers? Oilers is Oiler? the... Oilers is the dumbest term I've ever fucking heard for anything, man. Oh my god. How do people come up with this shit? An Oiler. How do you come up with this shit, man? It's ridiculous. Oh. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Uh, internet is... Yeah, it's uh, definitely interesting. Interesting place. Hobson going for a rotation here, and it failed. <laughs> yeah, going there without smoke or any rune is pretty ambitious. Now I, I, well, the lane is pretty pushed. I think that's why he went for it. Yeah, but that's also why it's obvious, right? Not necessarily. Who else would he go to? Jungle? Nah. Yeah, I mean, he could go jungle. Nisha nah, going for the counter way. gank. Oh, the walker's dead. Oh, no. Oh, is he? No, no dust. Side, I think. Yeah, no dust. Dude, man, stop trying to kill the walker without dust. The fucking is sleep up. Oh, tight bring up. Dude. If you hit the bar there, just randomly. Oh, I guess Arcane Rune. Arcane Rune Void Spirits. Whoa, does he even get it though? Yeah, he does. The only better thing is uh, DD. Yeah. What's the. Arcane is the second best. Alright, so here are four good spells. The yeah. free k advantage at uh, eight minutes. I might just have to leave soon, man. Yeah, it's cool, man. No, no pressure. This game is actually. I feel it's gonna be a secret game. I think OG still wins late game if they don't get too crushed in this laning phase. Yeah. I think so too, but 3k is pretty crushed already. It's not easy playing a Magnus position 5, because it doesn't fucking do anything. Also don't see any room for invoker rotations. Can't kill life stealer, can't kill void spirit. Is he dead? Can they kill? Oh, good read on that top scene here. Instead going for the full back, he waited first for the step. We could dodge the damage. Not bad, not bad. Either way, he wouldn't have died, but yeah. It's yeah. a good heads up play. He just screwed him. Made him out. <laughs> when hands up, he's like, nope. I hate that shit when it happens to me, man. But hands up? Yeah, because some people just let it go, you know, and then you die. Because <laughs> you don't want to waste your spell. Is it a waste though, if you get out? That's what I'm saying. Like, if you preemptively use it, and they don't use it, you look like an idiot. Oh, combo! <laughs> <laughs> what is this, OG? OG, what the fuck? I think it would actually have been a kill if they score after the tornado. Oh, I got the wrong angle for the bird. You think they would have killed? Uh, yeah, cause, cause the EMP would have hit with the cold snap and score. Okay. You can't double you. Yeah. Might have been. It was definitely better than what they did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. 5k advantage, yeah. 10 minutes. It went up by 2k in, in 2 minutes time. How did that happen? Power. 
top tower died. That's like a good 700 gold or so. And somebody's slacking on farming. Yeah, the Beastmaster is behind. The PA is behind. And the Invoker is behind. All three cores are behind. Even the position fours are clashing. And you're up to 700 gold ahead. Even the 5 is double the gold almost. Like every position is richer than the other one. On the counterparts. Poppy's pretty rich for the Baron. He is. It's 2k gold for some reason. What is he building? Ow. NCS? I don't know. Is Quaswax to play against Void Spirit? I don't think he has a choice. Even if it's not the correct choice against Void Spirit, that doesn't really matter because he's playing with too many greedy heroes. Yeah. Five Magnus is greedy. PA is a fairly greedy hero. I don't know about Phoenix, but you kind of want a tornado when you play Phoenix just to uh, help you with the egg. And Deathling Blast. And Deathling Blast, of course. But that one also gets um, gets casted from Exoid, so that's not a difference. Yeah, but the, the Wax levels matter a lot. You think that makes a difference? Yeah, for the like longer disarm. Mm, I think if it goes off, it's already too late. Actually, hitting the egg, but sure. Actually, how, how much is level one? I don't know. Definitely. It's like two like seconds second. or something. What, two seconds here? Uh, how do I check, man? One point twenty-five level one. It's almost a second per level. Actually, you're right. The wax one is quite big. It uh, goes up to like what five seconds or something? <laughs> Pretty fucking long. 6.5 seconds this arm on this fucking shit? Uh, yeah, it's super long. <laughs> and you can't Manta out of it. You can only BKB out of it. I didn't know this spells that OP, <laughs> what the fuck? Deafening Blast is really fucking strong. Yeah, it's hard to play uh, Exoid with all these greedy heroes because Exoid soaks up a lot of farm. Yeah. Honestly, Exoid is also really shit to play if you don't go Midas, I feel. I just need the levels on Exoid. Yeah, Absorb. No tornado ready. Yeah, he's getting out of this easily. Or they turn even kill Thompson instead. MP. That is such a game losing death. Like you're, you already weren't losing, uh, winning, and now you're just fucking. Beating. Yeah, no, it's GG. Fucking GG, man. What's actually a chance to kill the Ruby even? No, he didn't have tornado already. There's no tornado. No tornado means you can't get the MP off. No MP means no kill. 6k. I mean, no, what do they do, man? Secret is fucking good. It's not just 6k. It's also that they took the mid tower and the top tower, so the entire jungle is now exposed. Reinforcements only come from tier 2 now. So, like, the edges of the forest, unplayable. And that's against Konka Void Spirit. And Rosha control also goes down, of course, because now you're forced to TP to a fucking outpost that's like 6 seconds instead of a mid tower for 2 or a top tower for 2. It's RP. Wow. Orchid already on fucking voice before shit. Oh, cold snap doesn't work if you have E armor on. Because you don't take damage. Even though you get hit. You mean from right clicks? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I just noticed yeah. now. I, I didn't know it was the interaction like that. So also the same as healing self and stuff. Doesn't cancel. Uh, interesting. Thompson has missed quite a lot of tornadoes this game. Enemies. I don't think any of them mattered though. Like, no, not for kills, doesn't. but like harass damage only. Yeah. But for me at least, when, when I miss a lot of heroes and I mean a lot of spells on the walker, I'm not feeling myself, you know? Oh, that's a good RP. Good egg too, no one to stop it. Full stuns. Now... The raw instantly got dispelled, man. Yeah, I think this is where the draft advantage comes uh, for OG, like, slightly. Because they have better team fights, Which is also why their late game is going to be better. And like I said before, Secret, they excel in skirmishes and laning phase. But when these things happen, and like, if two more of these fights happen, I think OG got this game. I 
personally feel like there was Nisha's misplay. Because you went on the wrong targets? Beastmaster over Phoenix or what? Yeah, because you have ab Abaddon to cancel the raw. If you orchid the Phoenix or the Magnus, I don't think this happens. Yeah. I, I think that whole jump was very ambitious. Yeah. They didn't have vision of the backline. So they went in. Very scary. And they basically hoped for the best. They just hoped for the best when they went in without considering that you know, they could have been safe like that. They, they also fought into PA Desolator. He just got that fight. He was shredding them. Uh, OG feeling brave. Look, look at this shit, man. They're feeling brave. Back doing a tower even. <laughs> Voice Glyph. Oh. Do you like MKB first on Life Stealer? I, I really don't play this hero anymore. So it's hard I mean, to without any item before that. What oh, double board part. I think it's fine. MKB is a good DPS item in this patch. Yeah, but he has like 1100 health. Oh, he has armed it. Never mind. Yeah, it's armed it. Okay, 1700. Plus, I, I, don't, I don't think his HP matters that much. Because he only fights with rage, right? So either he dies with rage or he doesn't. Yeah. Free roach? Can they though? They're taking a lot of damage in this. Okay, if OG is aware, and I think they are? Did they scan? No, I, I don't think they scanned. No, but they smoked. They know when this sure. pops, yeah, now they know. Now they know for sure, because this, this smoke popped. And they're rushing. Hey, the you have to go in a battle. You have to go in a battle. Okay, instant egg. Does he have RP? He has. He has. Yes. Oh, the egg goes out. Oh, four mask <laughs> What the fuck, four mask <laughs> Nisha goes back for the Roche. Oh, he, stole oh, the Roche. he got it. Like... Oh, he didn't get the kill. But they got the Aegis. Oh, oh he killed the bird. <laughs> yeah, he's fine. I think that here. fight still benefited OG. Yeah, Secret is definitely throwing here. Echo Saber PA, huh? Yeah, mid one. Not that obvious, my man. What's happening here? Whose idea is this? <laughs> you mid can one? Sample it. <laughs> Gotta be, right? Into BKB and what? Uh. What is the quarter staff for? Oblivion staff, even. Oblivion staff, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> oh, he fucked up the vote. He fucked up the vote. He missed the kill because of that. Okay. Imagine not being able to hit your boat with x -Man. Oh, can you save mid one here? No EMP? Hold on? Can I see from here? No. Silver Edge? I don't think he's going Silver Edge. Also, I don't think he knows what he wants. He had BKB at first. Yeah, but what do you make the Oblivion staff for? I don't know, but you have to disassemble and get a BKB for sure. What items are Orchid? Orchid is the only item. I guess it could be blood torn later. But is that really the optimal item you're gonna get even with a Magnus on your team? Because with a Magnus on your team, you wanna go for high stats, base stats, because that's what's gonna get amplified from the Empower. Yep. But maybe you can be no matter what. That's RP still on no tail, but no chance to use it. He's gonna run in back. Oh, he's gonna hold RP here now. Is he dead from this tornado? Oh my! That little big tornado amplified by E. I mean, I can kill two. Oh, if the X marked it. Oh, they, oh, they're gonna send three. They're gonna send Oh my three. God! That crit. Oh my it's God. PA this one. Yeah, PA is this one again. Oh, I don't think that jump was to play. I think he had to go and try for a crit. Even now, yeah. yeah, I think he had to go for a crit. Plus, he has life each too. 
He would have definitely killed the Void Spirit if he played aggressively. Also, that item build is pretty fucking game losing right Yeah, now. I don't know what this item build is! What the fuck is this? That's so Echo Saber into Satanic? Isn't the Echo Saber hit so wasted? Because you even. You get the attack speed from the W, right? Yeah. So the first hit is super fast anyway. They have no BKB piercing ability. Why is he not going BKB? I don't understand. Dyer's middle tower is under Maybe he thinks BKB doesn't stop much here, but I, I think it does. I think it BKB means it's a free kill on Rubik. Yeah. Like every time. Every time he jumps Rubik, he's just dead. Not even Abaddon will save him in time. Yep. Oh, this, this item build hurts my eyes. But there's gotta be some kind of reasoning for it. What was the reason behind us just getting burning spears? <laughs> yeah, I don't know, man. There are so many questions for him. And you will never get my answer, man. You'll only see the reasoning if they win? No, even if they win, I don't think you'll see the reasoning. I think if they win, he made it harder for them. Yeah, exactly. Like, if they win, it would have been easier with other items. Like, you know, standard item builds exist for a reason. Because they're the best item builds, most of the time. Yeah. But it's a standard for Magnus uh, lineups to play with high stats. Yeah, and not with Echo Saber. That doesn't give you any stats. Well, not, not the main stat that he needs, at least. Yeah. Pretty sure you literally just go Deso, BKB, Basher. Yeah, that's that's the build I thought was gonna happen in this game. And then you literally just kill the lifestealer. I think Basher is so nice this game because it lets you uh, win all the 1v1s with relative ease. But now, the 1v1 against Lifestealer, it's not happening even. I think he loses this. The MKP. Yeah. yeah, he loses to the MKP. Why does Lifestealer have so much armor? What the fuck? Oh, yeah, he's, he's Aquila too. Okay, smoke comes out. What's the kills here? I think Rubik is highest priority. And then Void Spirit. But Void Spirit is elusive, so... I wouldn't focus him unless he fucks up. And you get him in a stun. Cool but even... Have. Unga? Unga's halberd. This PA will not do shit. It's just one halberd, right? Yeah, it's just one yeah, halberd. Yeah, but 4.5 seconds. Dimes not the end of the world. Is, under oh, is it 4.5 seconds? How long is halberd? I think it's 4.5. It's 5. No, it's melee target. The no, 3. 3. Right. Dude, if this Rubik ever spiel, uh, steals Deafening Blast, this PA is dead. With this counter smoke. Gonna find Seb here. What the fuck? Just a P that bitch. Okay, Rubik is the target. Found him. Easy kill. Yeah. Next target, Void Spirit if he finds him. He's going for Zai here because he's the one that's being slow. He is in trouble. No RP. Oh, well, uh, no, no! He got pulled out! Oh my god, yeah, everybody's an agent. He is dead. This game is over. I mean, this fight is over. No two sets for this. Do you know what happens when... When Rubik steals Deafening Blast? You're, you're just for like 9 seconds. <laughs> yeah, you're not hitting. They didn't get Egg off. And I didn't even see the RP, but it did go off somewhere. No, he had Pete White Spirit. Instantly. Ah. Yeah, I, I think a big problem in this fight was that PA didn't hit with the targets that got stunned. Like, Kunka got randomly roared just to be uh, disrupted. And then I didn't even see the Magnus one. I'm pretty and sure it was also killed the Rubik. game losing. To be honest, the roar on the... On the Kunka? Kunka? Yeah, I think that's a useless roar. 
I think the war has Lord to be on life stealer when there's no shield ready. Like that's the most optimal war in these fights. Yeah. It's either that or you ward the Abaddon and you kill all the people or whatever. The longer this game goes, the harder it gets for them. When this lifestyle gets an AC, they can't kill them anymore. Now, I mean, with a gold disadvantage, of course, every game gets harder like that. No, I just mean like the, the lineup in general. No, I think lineup like, wise. Beast is not I, easy. I actually think lineup wise, it gets easier for OG as the game progresses. As long as they don't fall behind by like thousands and thousands of gold. It's just like they have like basically just four support heroes already. They do, I mean, this fucking. <laughs> this buff bot Magnus, man. Eager to know. He has one purpose in his life. <laughs> Fulfill your purpose, bot. Do it now. Not even doing his one purpose in life. No, actually not even doing it. Finally. Now he can die. Oh! <laughs> Arcane Wolf gets dispelled instantly. Raw on the life Dude, this lack of BKB. He's still raw, Rubik. Oh, the life steal! Nice, he got the Rubik kill. RP! Where's mid one? Right there still. Oh, the team fight difference, man. The heroes. Yeah. It's so hard to fight into egg and stuff when you don't have anything that's like it's anything similar. Like you don't have a He's ravage, you, you don't have anything like that. Must even slow. I gave raw away. Yeah he did, he I saw he wore the fucking PA for like ten years. Of course he looks for the Rubik. It, it's the biggest kill. Like this is the lowest HP hero with the highest impact. So Rubik has to die in fights every single time. It takes PA like two seconds to kill. And if Rubik stays alive and you get lifted into a bad position or whatever, it's fucking game over. Like life see the stands next to you and you get lifted, dead PA. He queued up a rapier by the way. No fucks. I really feel he needs a PKB though. The last fight he got, he got really fucking lucky. He had 100 health. Yeah. I, I think he's getting too too disabled in fights to hit. And he's taking too much magic damage to properly fight. He got off a little bit lucky in the, the last fight there. He should have died, I think. Yeah, I really think he should have died there. Lucky. And then the first hit with Satanic was like a crit. Everything was kind of. Life steals a lot though. Oh, there's a talent for it too. Yeah, no yeah, wonder. 15%, I think. Not 12%. Yeah, and then he gets like 25 from Satanic now. He didn't have Satanic in that fight. Now he has Satanic plus Demon Edge. Big power spike. If if you use Satanic, does it give you 200% life steal or 225? 225, I think. Because it says percentage 2 200. You're right, actually. Not huh. I don't know if it's I'm just weird Valve wording or not. I'm not sure. Sep trying to even out the game again. Trying his best. Oh, he, uh, he goes for the split kill. push, so it doesn't look as obvious as compared to walking into the fountain. Solo kills are worth a lot of gold. I am not sure how they calculate it, but every time you get a solo kill, as in nobody else is involved at all, not even close, you, you get like 500, 800 gold to, uh, for a single kill. And it's almost a new item every time, pretty much. Radiant's bottom tower 
You know what today is, Sing? Saturday. The tomorrow of yesterday. Yes. Alright, again. He looks for the Rubik. That's the main kill. Second kill is Void Spirit or maybe Life Stealer. And now I think Life Stealer is. Jesus Christ, what the fuck is damage taken? Yeah, you can't go fucking rape you like this, man. Rubik is down. He's buyback ready. It. Doesn't buy back yet. He's holding on to it. He's waiting for OG to commit into the base for the second time. Oh, he does it now. Egg, egg, egg. No egg now, no egg now. X mark on the PA. I think Martin needs an AC, not a pistol plate. Personal opinion. Hmm. There's no armor. He needs more armor. Is he getting the rapier now? Six on the gold. One K advantage only now. If he gets the rapier, he can one hit all heroes pretty much. <laughs> yeah, he can. <laughs> it's just if you die with it, it's GG. Has a tonic. Might wanna use it soon. Vegas yeah, will pop here. Needs help. Absolutely needs help. Is there a boat? Taking the Rex, nobody's doing anything. What the fuck? They fucking can't. He's looking for the Rubik, I think. No, can't see the Rubik. Rubik is hiding behind trees. He gets the second best target, the Void Spirit. And he gets him. Best target is still Why Rubik. Me? But he's, uh, yeah, he's he's playing safe now, Rubik. He's far away. And he, he bought the rapier, by the way. Oh, it's coming. Here it is, it's coming. Dude, a lack with the empower PA with rapier. How the fuck? Let's go for throne. Oh, that's big evasion. dick. It's 85% evasion, dude. Yeah, well, what are you gonna do with it? Mid one. Is this a throw or a win? It's a win. They, they win. can't burst him. He's still holding on to satanic. Could still throw here. No, I don't think they can. <laughs> Pierre would have to die here without contest. And I don't think he's dying. He's still is he's still holding on to Satanic if it's ever needed. GG. Holy shit. There she won. Double rampage. Easy peasy. Did you know? This is what I hate about the other man. What? One Lucky RNG at Roche and won him the game. I, I think the draft was better. Overall. Right, of course it was better, but the like, secret opened him so fucking hard. Yeah, they outplayed him in laning phase. And then the draft kind of just won the fight. Or won the game because they got a lucky fight at Roche. Oh. Like he had, he had 100 HP, then he used the tank. First hit was the tank was a crit. Otherwise he would have died. Mm. Crazy, man. Also, set? I really disagree with life to the item build. Oh, you, you think? AC. Yeah, it was I went AC though, so he couldn't. Or oh, Hellbird. Two Hellbirds? What is he gonna do? Like, you, you definitely need something to man fight the PA. Yeah. You need armor. Yeah, I think armor he, he was Hellbird. probably thinking about going for Basher to man fight the PA. Thirty-seven years, Sing Sing Oh Woe. I fucking hate this man. He Why actually did... played support invoker, by the way. He gave yeah. him Alacrity, Glimmer Cape, Solar Crest, and Lotus Orb. Yeah. Support it's invoker. It's really good this game. It's where the top sense the TI winner, man. <laughs> it's pretty good. Like most players would never do this kind of stuff. Of course they wouldn't. They want to be the superhero. Superstar. Yeah. Eggs, refresher. 
Cataclysm mm -hmm. times two. Rampage. Uh, this game was a really big draft difference. I really didn't like the secret draft at all. Yeah, I, I, they, they lack so much. They lack proper team fights. There's no AOE control. There's no, there's no threat. There's no like epicenter coming or ravage or something like that. Colon. I'm pretty sure, by the way, that secret had some pretty bad itemization problems. Can, it was mostly check, fine. I, I, I already closed my Dota. Can you check? Yeah, I'm looking at it now. I, I, I think it was mostly check. fine. Okay, so I think. The biggest problem is that Mato didn't get AC and Kunkka didn't get Aghanims. Aghanims? Aghanims completely destroys no BKB lineups. That is true, actually, it does. But I don't think that's enough to win the fight. No, but I feel like AC on a lifestealer is <laughs> completely needed. Like, PA is I feel like every fight. Have an he died like five times in a row. Timings, a level above Even just a casual teams. plate mail. No matter how difference. close to losing, they always turn the game around in the important. And overall, of course, the draft oh. is that they really outpick, but I just feel like item builds could have been much better. I don't think OG has a level of understanding timing to above other teams. This thing, game, they got a little bit lucky, and the draft was better. I think uh, Secret played the game better overall. Like, especially their early game, they, they outplayed them in a lot of different ways. But then they lost, like, one really bad fight, and shit just went downhill so fast. Like this, this draft is not a draft you can fall behind on. Yeah. Weak draft. No clear purpose. No Roshan kill. No tower damage. No good team fight. No dominance over late game. Nothing. Yeah, much. they have nothing in this lineup. I don't think lifestyle bad enough to play against Phoenix, man. Like, you know, people think Phoenix is just a fucking egg, but his sun rays actually the most broken spell, man. Yeah, this. <laughs> like, <laughs> it kept the PA alive so many fucking times. I hate the sun ray. It's so strong. It just melts all these conkers and shit. Yeah, it does. I, I strength fails against sun rays. It's hard to match. I need a BKB against it. But even so, suddenly it's 30 second cooldown. BKB is like, what, 60 or something? Next game is soon. It'll be like a maybe a couple minutes break and then it'll start. I'll dream about you, my friend. Ah, you going to sleep? All good, man. Yeah. I good wish night. you a good rest of your stream. Hopefully, some more park games. Yeah, yeah. Hope so. And tomorrow is the, the big one. Final. It's grand finals. Yeah. Do the big final first. Yeah, I'll try to catch all the games. Because it's getting pretty Wait, spicy eight. now. Wait, 18 hours from now. And that is 9 p.m. That is super early for me. It's super nice. Cool. But then the grand final is... Fucking four hours later, it's 1 a.m. Fuck, man. Why are they starting so fucking late in Europe time, even? It's not that late. 3 p.m. is quite late, right? No, it's okay. So even, the Grand starts at 7? That's pretty normal. Like, even on lands, usually tournaments start on, like, what, 11 or so? Yeah, but it's four hours earlier, right? Da -da -da. Yeah, but they also play more games Thanks normally. For the streams, Mr. Singh. Appreciate you. I think they're trying to time the grand finals like kind of before they midnight. Time zone. Like they wanted the to end is, before midnight. I feel like it's like one of the worst time zones though. It's like 7 a.m. in America. Motherfucker, it's, it's the best time zone. Really? Yes. Let's say it starts at 7 p.m., right? Best. 7 a.m. America. And past midnight SEA. There's like it's a like total really of five viewers in America or something. It's the best time zone. Okay, Kona, man. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> you gonna stay up for the grand finals then? It's gonna be late. I don't know if I will. Yeah, it's gonna I'll ruin your schedule. Game or two. No. We'll see how it goes, man. I might. Or I might not. Fuck. <laughs> 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 Uh, 
valt zijn two glimmers. Did they have two glimmers? Even if they did, I don't think two glimmers is bad. I only see one though. All right. See you later, Black. Good night, my friend. Good I night. wish you a very good evening, man. Wish and you my good cat night, said dude. you should pet him one day. One day. Yeah, he wants to get patted by you. So. Yeah. But. All right. See you later, man. See you. Take care. Thank you, Lucky Crits, for the 25. Hack now for the 250 bits. It's Boys for the 47. Entropy 5 for the Prime. Magical Girl for Real for the 37. Mikkelin for the 26. Refiction for the 77. Chronolist for the 36. And HPH Land for the 83, man. This is some. Like, what is this? What am I looking at here? What the fuck is this graph? <laughs> absurd yeah it looks like the alliance one two times in one day This is such an easy secret tournament to win, I think. Secret is just flowing for content here. Pleasing their fans with more games. Now they're gonna sweep 2-0. I believe. If the game is up yet, then the answer is always no. I'm a secret fan, but I always gotta support my boy, Bruce, man. Mid one looks like he's struggling these days. Does Shadow Demon W just take 40% of both mana and HP off Dusa? Huh. Oh, I didn't know it just removed mana too. Interesting. Game is up. This better not be a lie, man. Better not be a lie. Oh, it wasn't a lie. I lost. I've been losing all day.
still streaming. Yeah, yeah. Some good games today. You should check the ending of the uh, Alliance game if you haven't seen it. First game of Alliance versus Nygma. That is some shit, man. Like, just watch like the last 10 minutes. And be pleasantly surprised. I'm gonna try Crusader Kings 3. I've been playing it a bit, but I'm overwhelmed in that game. There's so like I'm even playing through the tutorial and I'm I'm getting overwhelmed. I think I need a lot of time to understand that game. There's there's so many mechanics happening at the same time. Talking about Crusader King 3. It's a grand strategy game by Paradox. Came out recently. Maybe I'll stream it if I know the game better, but not definitely not right now. I think that game is also hard to watch. I mean, if it's hard to understand as a player, only people who play the game would understand anything in it. looking for different kind of games to play the ps5 is gonna have a lot of good games to stream lots of uh third person over the shoulder kind of story games should be good man looking forward to 2021 but 2020 also wasn't that bad for video games like you know sure there's corona but are you really going outside less than before because for me, the answer is barely. Bar it's barely, man. <laughs> Can't take away my social life if I have none. Never heard of the game Raji. Elden Ring is coming out soon, dude. Five soon, seconds. TM. I'm pretty hyped for it. I'm, all, I'm actually also quite excited for Demon Souls, the remake, because I skipped that game. And if they're gonna properly remake it from scratch, it should be good. On the Dark Souls type game to go through. But I think I'm also just gonna one shot every boss. So like this normally 30 hour game is gonna be like 2 hours for me. I don't know what Winds of Five Winter is. Sounds familiar though. Not all I'm not gonna stream the early access for Baldur's Gate. Going to wait for the full release. It is Dyer's fan. Ah, CK3, it's really hard to uh, stream. 
for the most of the game, I'm just paused and just reading tooltips just to see what they do. Winds of Winter is a Song of Ice and Fire game. Oh, the Game of Thrones uh, video game. I'll check it out, I suppose. Game of Thrones has a bad taste in my mouth, man. I don't want to associate too much with it. Did they ever say what the story was going to be in Baldur's Gate 3? Is it continued from 2? Or are they like doing their own thing? I quite like the story in Baldur's Gate. Is it its own thing? Ah, oh, too bad. Long time skip after two. Radiance turn to pitch. Yeah, it makes sense they don't tie the games together. I'm sure we'll find plenty of Easter eggs and no cameos of uh, random characters. But they won't connect the plot from 2 to 3. Ten I suppose. I'll play the Outer Worlds DLC whenever that comes out. Dyer's turn to pick. I want to play Ball's Quick Reasoning, but you couldn't get into it. The game is too old. Oh, dude. Ball's Gate 2 is still good. I replay that game like every year. It is There's two games I replay like once a year Fallout 2 and Ball's Gate uh, 2. How about Balls Gate 1? No, skip that one. Balls Gate 1 is... Uh, especially the Enhanced Edition, it doesn't look that good. They had these really ugly outlines on the sprites. It is Dio's ban. I've played all the Fallout games. 1 and 2, they're much better games than 3 and 4. But they're also much different type of games. Reminder of Game of Thrones and how they butchered the last few seasons. I have no idea what you're talking about, Skellington. Game of Thrones ended at season 5. I've played New Vegas too. New Vegas is good, but it's not Fallout 2 good. Fucking Game of Thrones, man. <laughs> Invoker again. But well, this time paired with Dark Willow. And Secret... As Phoenix. Phoenix is a really popular pick. This hero even got nerfed in uh, current patch. Like Sunray got nerfed, I think Strength got nerfed, and something else. Phoenix Mars is a very good combo, even. You think New Vegas is overhyped? I don't think it's over. I don't think overhyped is the right word. It's just there's a lack of good RPG games, and New Vegas is one of the better ones out of it. Five seconds.
New Vegas had really funny characters. I've heard of Disco Elysium. Sadly, I don't like games that don't have uh, combat mechanics. I like to be kept on my toes. Disco Elysium is purely a skill check game. But I will play through it eventually. Because I, uh, I do like good RPGs, of course. It's just not something I want to play right now. Yeah, it's a story-driven game, and I think almost everything is decided by skill checks. Rather than your personal skill or reaction speed or something like that. I don't mind reading. When if the if the writing for a game is good and the lore is nice, I'll spend all day on it. No doubt. Because that most games have terrible lore. Terrible writing. Awful story. Every time I play one of these fucking Japanese games with their 45 minute exposition moments, it just makes my eyes old, man. I I, I can't fucking deal with it. It is dying. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. So this basically means mid invoker and safe lane morphling. Unless they want to do like an offlane invoker, but it sounds like ass. Ten seconds remain. It's, seconds. it's it's pretty scary to show two lanes like that so easily. Yeah, Sep doesn't play Invoker, but I could always lane switch. But, you know, lane switching doesn't always feel so nice since the players won't be so comfortable. Maybe a 4 Invoker, but Dark Widow is also often played as a 4. And that's a really good hero against Morphling, the Shadow Demon. As a, uh, they, they, they picked these two cores I so early. Spirit Fair the last week. It Ten made me cry. Seconds. Cry a lot. The story is wholesome. Spirit Fair. I looked at it. It's online. like this uh, story-based economy type game where you trade stuff. It looked nice actually. I'll check it out sometime. It's a very slow game. I think it's meant to be a slow game. It's they want you to take in the world. Immerse yourself into it. I've pl I've played the uh, Amnesia, the Dark Descent. I did not fall out of love with Monster Hunter World, dude. I just exhausted all the content. Never heard of BPM bullets per minute. Don't know what game that is. ET pick. ET pick sort of denies any AG picks here, unless they want to get punished. TA doesn't really count. One of the few AG heroes that doesn't care too much about ET. Opinion Ludo Shooters? I don't like most Ludo Shooters. Ten seconds remain. Five uh, she doesn't care as much because of Refraction. I mean, she still cares, but it's just not as bad. It's not like you're playing, uh, well, a Morphling against ET. And you just it's unplayable for you if you ever stand next to him. I've looked at the game control. That's a pretty old game. It's been on Epic Games for a while. And I guess the exclusivity contract ran out and now it's on Steam too. I'll see. Right now I'm, I'm kind of liking Dota. So I, I don't mind just streaming Dota until I get bored of it completely. 
and then I play other things. Ten seconds remain. Radiance two to pick. Am I grinding anymore? If you mean by grinding, losing everything and dropping back to rank four thousand, yes. I'll be rank four thousand soon. Profits. Underlord in this. Okay. Okay. I don't understand why they picked Underlord last and Morphling third. From how I see it, if they picked Underlord third and kept the carry pick open, it would have been easier to lane. Because now he's facing a fucking Shadow Demon with it. Hmm. I was just revealing these core picks so early. Important core picks too. It's not like you pick a Lina early and Lina is flexible and can lane against everything. Morphling gets countered by some things. It's not about the laning. The laning is whatever. Morphling versus Shadow Demon. It's the mid game and late game. Did I mix my magics? Block pick maybe? Could be a block pick. Omnisha? <laughs> we respect him that much though? I don't remember seeing a Yelps or Phoenix so much either. Shadow Demon is not always that good. If there's no hero where disruption is good with, the hero is just kind of average. Like his W is good, but his E is mm, you know, this is this spell is not great in mid and late game. There's some scenarios where you have long drawn out team fights, but they're rare because most team fights are just like bam with BKBs and then it's over. And then the ulti is also it's very situational whether it's good or not. But yeah, in this game, they have disruption for the morph thing, which is one of the better ones. One of the better disruptions you can do in the game. And this is because Morphing was picked early and then Sheldon was picked after to counter it. And this is why I wonder why they would they pick Morphling this early? And then the idea is maybe they use it to block pick it from Nisha getting it. But yeah, if you block pick with an early pick Morphling, you get countered by Shadow Demons. And it's quite, quite risky. And he also he went disruption level 1 by the way, so his laning phase is weaker than... Going for Shadow Poison level 1. It's good for saving, but there's better heals for saving if you want to save. Oh jeez, this positioning. Oh yeah, he went boots step one, I wonder. Can Kaita Underlord if he doesn't fucking get hit like every what what the f Oh one more hit. Good kill. A bit sloppy on the block with three ends, but still pretty good. Any prediction who's gonna win? I am not sure about this game. I don't think there's a clear a prediction from draft. But I usually give the favor to Secret because they, they've been playing better throughout the tournament. They also played better for the most part of last game. But they were outdrafted. And they lost to a much easier execution. 
So I think secrets. This matchup used to be so bad for Invoker. Now it's kind of okay because you don't get the bonus damage anymore on the nice. Oh, that deny. <laughs> Looks so clean. Oh. Flame of Verifier still. Good tank to itself it. It's still pretty rough for Invoker. I get the local for the four. <laughs> Holding cold snap. Yeah, good play. The cold snap early that would have been would have been dangerous. What holding cold snap on the tower four keeps gives him kill potential if he decides to dive on the tower. He's doing good on Invoker. It looks like Nisha is... <laughs> Holy shit, dude. It looks like he's owning. And he kind of is on aggression. But CS-wise, they're completely even. So Thompson is actually doing pretty fucking well here. Although, I gotta say, this lane only gets harder with uh, levels. This TA's damage grows like fucking crazy with refraction. Oh, nice deny there. Don't wanna go for this deny? Going for it. Fucked up the last hit instead. Not quite a deny. Oh, can he get here? Oh! Oh! This, this kill! This fucking kill! <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, that's not good. He tried to uh, he tried to move around the creeps, but it's hard when the creeps are right in front of you like that. This is a really fun matchup to watch. These are both really good. Oh no, he has to dispel it. Gotta dispel this, or you lose a wave. Both? No, they both they both play really good. He he just fucked up there like slightly. If he dodged two side blades there with the creeps on him with cold snap, he would have killed the TA instead. But then this this god of war just fucked him instead. High risk, high reward. He just didn't get the reward. Lane is that upon him. <laughs> I like this choice by Nisha that he doesn't go for the lane with DD because he knows he'll just get this spelled anyway. So he goes for double jungle camps instead. Oh, that's a full trap, isn't it? It is. That shit is OP as fuck. 250 damage. Unethical, really. How many spells do 250 damage for 15 mana? How's mid one doing? Oh, mid one is not doing well. 27 8 versus 17 2. <laughs> mid one. Calm down. Why, what the fuck is this item build? Where are the eighth pants? What the fuck am I looking at here? Boy, he's got some weird ideas for builds, man. Yeah, I think I'm too Papega to understand. Maybe it's building IQ builds. There's no answer for this for TA. Sadly. 
Tears don't build Bottle anymore. Matuma dog dying somewhere. Huh. I've been away for too long from mid lane. I don't know the builds anymore. Everyone else holds bottle with DA. Yeah, maybe it's like that. No spear? Oh, I think he could have speared him on this tree here that he just destroyed with Yabzor. But it was before he destroyed it. Huh. You a total invoke noob, how would you dispel DD? In Tornado. Tornado dispels DD. Oh well, all buffs for so that matters. Oh I've looked at level one melt. I remember uh who was it that told me? I think it was Black that told me. How melt lasts for twelve seconds now for whatever reason. And it's minus 5 armor. The so level 1 melt is crazy high value. Oh, how did that- What? <laughs> Ice fog? How did that stun? Oh, clean. Clean. Liked it. This is a site you'll never see in pups. Your mid player de-warding. Instead of crying when they die because of this ward and then ping the support. Five, why didn't you de-ward for me? Uh, ping, 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 ward here. Yup, so. Has dive still. Has laser too. I think if it goes really bad, it could laser off the map. What the fuck is this pulse? Helps in this seed. Oh, yes. That's any popcorn player, yeah. But mid players are some of the most whiny ones for this. What's the plan for each team? They both have very similar plans actually. They both just kind of want to hit mid game. There's no, there's no like obvious push strat or anything like that. I think Secrets lineup is a little bit more early game focused in comparison, but they do scale well into late game still. For Secrets, when he gets Desolator, oh, he's actually going blink first, interesting. But yeah, when he gets desolated, that Roshan is gonna be vulnerable. The one pick off into Rosh, or one um, team fight into Rosh, is one of the main goals. Secret this time has a pretty well rounded draft. They only miss a proper carry. Furion by itself is not really that good of a carry, but he makes up for it by having a net worth advantage. Since he can go across the entire map globally. And because of this, he doesn't have to be in the right time uh, right positions at the right time to join fights compared to say like you know, any carry like Juggernaut or whatever. And of course there's another exception to the Spectre. Because of this, you can farm more of the safe camps that are further away from your team as they go around for some fights that oh my god he just barely dodged it good kill and of course his ulti is like plus 500 gold every time he uses it but it's mostly the positioning early on you can have any positioning on the map macro wise and you can still join the fight. In perfect position even, of your choosing. It is the strongest aspect of Furion.
Ulti comes out. Half HP of a fucking Morphling. Yep. <laughs> Holy shit, dude. Oh my god, what the fuck? What is it, spider senses? What the fuck was that? Jesus! Scripted? I don't even think there's a script for something like that. Ah, oh, ah! Oh. I think you had to wait for Pit Lords to start, but it was also pretty hard. I don't know if that max range of his cast is enough for uh, Smoke Gang. Possible TA kill here? No, not enough chase. And Pit Lord also gets stopped. Oh, he still went for the Desolate over Blink. And he's going Blink next. And this this means Roshan is vulnerable. Dyer's One pick off on the core. We're even wasting some good spells. They, they actually don't really have big spells on uh, OG. So yeah, pick off then. Pitlord dies. That's Rosh. If Invoker dies, that's Rosh too. Morphling. I don't think Morphling is that necessary. Because even if he dies, both Pitlord and Invoker can still do long range Haras. No mana to burn. He doesn't care. Clean <laughs> kill, clean kill. Well. This is kind of where Secret's lineup starts to peak. And then in the next 15 minutes or so, it's going to peak. And from there, it's downhill. Then OG starts to get stronger. But they just have to go through this punishment a little bit longer. And he's not going for like the mega support build this time. Utility build. Also, did I just see drums on Morphling? I misclicked, right? He almost died, actually. He threw an ulti, because this ward saw him. Dyer's bottom tower is in danger. They play, they're, they're playing a different game from me. And from everybody else. Every, every other fucking pro team. Every pop player, they're playing a different game. Mo comes out. What's the initiate here? I think it's gonna have to be Pitlow W. Into Willow spells. Stomp is a bit on the slow side. Oh, I like this positioning by Matumba. Very safe. And he scouts out too with this little tree end here. But it's a smoke, so he won't reveal it. Not finding anybody. Painful. Four heroes doing nothing for 45 seconds or so. Meanwhile, Secret is farming the entire fucking map everywhere. Only Boost Boy is uh, farming. I get the TL of this. Good punish. And they get this guy too? He's. Why is Midway morphing up and down? Because he's generating HP. For some reason, he didn't.